It is an issue that 7 News' eye team has exposed for years. Toxic, brain-damaging lead lurking in food for babies and toddlers. Tonight, a new disturbing chapter. Senior investigative reporter Lisa Fletcher with this neurotoxin being found at alarming levels in popular snacks for little ones. It's the go-to snack that kids love. And with labels like organic, rice-free, and no added sugar, one that parents trust. But some of these puffs, featuring one of the latest trend ingredients, cassava root, were found to contain alarming amounts of lead. FDA needs and must do more. Tom Neltner is the National Director of Unleaded Kids, a group that focuses on reducing lead exposure from all sources. The Consumer Reports test results on puffs came as a surprise to many. What does that tell you? That tells me we need to pay attention to all these other types of root crops that we didn't pay attention to. Root crops like potatoes, carrots, and cassava require rigorous testing to make sure they're not absorbing heavy metals from the soil. Consumer Reports tested two brands of cassava root puffs, Lesser Evil and Serenity Kids. Both were found to contain lead. The highest levels were found in these Lesser Evil Lil Puffs Intergalactic Voyager Veggie Blend that contained more lead than any of the 80 baby foods Consumer Reports had tested since 2017. What was interesting is that some of the cassava products didn't have it high levels and others did, which suggests there's opportunities to lower the level and you really need to do quality control. But if companies are missing the mark, the FDA is charged with ensuring a safe food supply. The agency was supposed to set limits on heavy metals in baby food years ago, but still hasn't done it, forcing parents to blindly trust what's in products they buy for their kids. Even if the FDA finally sets standards for contaminants in baby food, those closest to the issue tell us they're not expected to be rigorous and won't even include snacks that we now know can be among the most contaminated products. For reasons I don't understand and they didn't explain, they eliminated all the snacks. Snacks like teething biscuits or these puffs. So those are among the highest levels of lead and often arsenic in them. So it was disturbing to us that they exempted those from the scope of their action levels. It kind of leads one to believe that they're more interested in what's happening with industry than with the public health side. So that's the way the agency has been operated since 1980. It's not new. We know the damage it causes to kids brains. We know the lost lifetime earnings that the kids will have. So they don't do that analysis. Instead, they just look at the market and say, what can we do that won't disrupt the market? So that's not what common sense requires. Lesser Evil released a statement saying it was dismayed by the news, but claims it tests its products and has confirmed they meet safety standards. Still, the company says it will phase out cassava flour. On its website, Serenity Kids, wrote it vets suppliers to use the cleanest possible ingredients and its puffs exceed all applicable health and safety standards. Lisa Fletcher, 7 News. The 7 News I team continues to push for answers from the FDA about why they've failed to take meaningful action to clean up the baby food industry despite years of calls from parents, lawmakers, scientists and pediatricians. We recently put together a half hour special called toxic in action that will give you an inside look at this issue with all the interviews from some of the leading voices across America. Just go to WJLA.com and click on the cassava puffs story for a link to that special.